The one thing that I noticed when we were at the middle school was the children were so eager to talk with him and excited to be around a famous person. And I believe he used that to his advantage. Yeah, and you were concerned that through his work and all of that, that that's how he was getting access to yes. kids. And you, you talked about this. Let, let's listen to this. You must go crazy with your travels because you get to go and tell the different schools and you know, all the different things like that. Give, can, I, w I want you to... I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of stories. I want you to tell me some of them so that, I don't know, it just, I like to... Yeah, especially some in the middle school. I love the middle school and the yeah. girls are starting to get you know? Yeah. Because you know how much I love the You know, I love you. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. um, What's that? Well, you know, kids are maturing faster nowadays. I know, which I love. That's why I think it's wonderful with you is that you're able to get in early. You know, I mean, you could totally, you know, you could totally win them over, which is what I love. Mm hmm You like that? I do love that. Tell me, how, well, you tell me how to do that. You know, just talk to them, just get to know them, just everything, and just, you know, do a little touchy-feely things with them, you know, and make them feel good. And it's a little more touchy feeling, a little more touchy feeling, a little more touchy feeling. And it's that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. I think that would be amazing. What, what totally age, amazing. What age seems to be the easiest? You know, I don't know. Like, you know, early middle school is probably one of the best. Yeah. You know, they don't know if they're coming or going. I can see you a young, you know, sixth, seventh grader, you know, this And they're okay, they're, they be all right with that? What's that? You have to find out how, if they'd be all right with that? Oh, I know, they'd definitely be all right with that. They're very much into exploring and, you know, it's a matter of getting them on your side, you know? And that's what I'm, cons that's what I'm just curious, I don't know how to, how to do that? Just be friendly to them? Yeah, just be friendly to them. Just, just do what you normally would do, maybe, because that's what you, you're so friendly anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, and then we can just sort of go from there. We take it, and I think it's all case by case, you know? There's no, there's no right way, wrong way, whatever, you know? Well, he's thought about this a lot. He's got a plan, he's got a technique, he's got skills, and you can tell he's done this over and over and over. Yes, he, at one point he called me and was telling me about a six-year-old little girl and that he was flying over to see her. And from the way the conversation was going, it sounded as though the parents were okay with this. And I called the FBI, I told them what was going on, but they couldn't do anything because he wouldn't give me a name. He wouldn't give me the place where he was going to. And all I can envision is him going to this six-year-old girl and violating her and changing her life forever. And you know it, but you can't stop it. That's right. That's haunted me for years.